In the aquaculture sector, it would be fair to say that goldfish farming doesn't have a high profile, but it's proved an interesting business for Murray Barker. He's been involved with Brayside Aquaria since the late 1970s and took over the business in 1981. Brayside currently produces between two and 400,000 goldfish each year. We stock 25 different varieties of goldfish. They are all bred on the farm and we market throughout New Zealand. We've been doing that since 1981 and we've managed to remain top of the heap during that time. All the breeding is done on the farm. The breeders are selected and uh, because the government will not allow importation of goldfish, uh, what we've got is what we've got. The breeding aspect of the industry is critical. We've got to get the right fish and we've got to get them in prime condition ready for spawning. We've got plenty of tea tree around the place. The tea tree fronds are placed over top of each other and tied up with a bit of baling twine. Then we have the mosquito mesh, which is placed as an egg catcher in the bottom. We take the male breeders from their pond and the female breeders from their pond and we bring them into the stainless steel vat. Then we increase the temperature by approximately two degrees and that is enough to trigger the fish into spawning. Over five days, the young fry will hatch and they've got a little yolk sac in their bellies and that takes two days for the young fry to use that. And then we get emulsified egg yolk and we feed that to the fry for two days. Following that, we are growing what is known as brine shrimp and the brine shrimp is a macroscopic life and we feed that for the next week and after that we put the fry into the big ponds that we've prepared with Daphnia and, and other macroscopic life for them to eat. Daphnia is a small water flea, live food, so that the young fish have got the best start they can possibly get. Within 12 weeks, we will be doing our first harvest. That's how quickly the fish grow. Like raising calves, raising poultry, raising pigs. Um, you're dealing with livestock. You've got to have an eye for the livestock. You've got to be able to recognize um, problems before they arise. And um, it is a, a seven day a week job. This is where we do the packing and the processing and getting the fish ready to leave. We have got two holding ponds where the fish are selected for the orders, placed into plastic bags, double bagged once the oxygen has been blown into the bag, placed in cardboard cartons and ready for dispatch. Goldfish are a tough species. They are the only fish in the world that can survive from 39 degrees Celsius down to 4 degrees Celsius. Some, um, some tropical fish in the Amazon can't survive a, a, a variation of 2 degrees Celsius. So yeah, they, they are quite amazing fish, really are. These are called red caparandas. They are extremely sought after because of the growth on the head, which is the aranda. It is becoming an increasingly important part of the business and the influx of people from Asia, uh, they've brought the love of goldfish with them and at the moment the red caparandas are what is very, very vogue. These are our stock and trade. These are known as comets. They would represent 40 to 50 percent of our total sales. The tail can often be as half as long as the fish. They are very hardy and they're what most kids and people have in their bowls just sitting on the kitchen table. This is another specialty goldfish. These are called bubble eyes. I've managed to bring these back from the brink of extinction at our fish farm. I think we've got around about 10, 20,000 of them, little baby bubble eyes now, so 
I'm delighted to be able to say that they're no longer on the endangered list. They uh, move very slowly and uh, are easy targets for predators. Uh, they've got no dorsal fin and they tend to wobble rather than swim like the comets. Historically, children have been a large percentage of our market, but we've got landscape gardeners and garden centres. We've got veterinary practices who usually have uh, an aquarium or two selling goldfish. We have the traditional pet shops and uh, that, that's where most of our market is. We also have professional aquarists who go to lawyers, dentists, practices and they have a beautiful setup with goldfish in a large aquarium. The market is becoming more sophisticated. We've had a big immigration from different countries in Asia and the people have bought their love of goldfish with them so our standards um, have been raised and uh, we, we are constantly striving for better and more perfect goldfish, uh, which is a bit of an uphill battle, but I think we're doing all right. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.